What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jay to the all. Got another video for you today. So in today's video, we are going to still be in Persona Studio 1.5 Prime. If you had not guessed it yet. But today, what are we going to be doing is, what are we going to be doing? Well, what are we going to be doing? We are going to show you, we as in me, I'm going to show you how to record an effect during tracking. Let's say you want to add compression going in to keep it out of the red. Let's say you want to add a little reverb for whatever reason and record it to the track while you're recording it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Normally what people would do is put the effect over here on the let's go ahead and add a track first. We'll add that mono track. Normally what people would do to monitor an effect is put it on the insert, uh, on the track itself on the insert, and that's fine for monitoring it, but if you want to print that effect while you're tracking, you can't do it that way. Simple as that. But I'm fixing to show you how. And it's real simple. All you have to do is come way over here to the left. You'll see these group of buttons. You want to hit the input. Now, that exposes the left and right input and the stereo input. So all you have to do, instead of adding the effect on the track, you add it on your device rack. That's what this is called, the device rack. So let's add, um, well, we won't add a preset. Let's add a channel strip for a little compression. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And as you can see, the compression is working. Now you can still take this in the red, but what I'm gonna show you is when it prints, it's not going to be in the red. And it takes a lot to get it in the red. And let's say we want to add a little EQ going in. Now, what you need to do if you wanna adjust your levels and see what's popping is monitor it on your track. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Uh, uh. So I just put some random compression. Uh, now let's add some reverb. Uh, uh, uh. And that is a lot of reverb, but I wanted that so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now, let's go ahead and hit record. I just picked some random beat. We're recording from the left input, as you can see, because you can hear it. And again, you can see the compression working. Now, notice over here on this stereo input, we're going in the red. That's because we don't have any effects on that. But we have it on input one, and that's the one we're concerned with for the moment. So let's hit record. We don't need to monitor it for what we're doing. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come through the beat, not with the beat. Come through the beat and I got at that heat. Come through the beat and I got with the heat. Come through the beat and I got with the heat. Okay, again, it's in the red. From channel one, it's not in the red. But I don't know why it does take two. It does two takes. I think this is because of what I was showing y'all in the last video. I need to remove that, but we'll just remove that like that. Now, before I play this back, just so you'll know that it printed, I will remove the effects that we just added. And now we don't need to see these no more, so we'll hide those. Now we're just on this track. Let's listen to see if the effects printed. All right, as you can see, the effects did print and nothing is going into the red. Yeah, yeah, Even right here. So there you have it, folks. There, that was a quick way that you can print effects while you are tracking. Very useful for compression and shit like that. Reverb, probably not so much. I don't know why you would want to record reverb going in unless you're using a hardware processor or whatnot. 
But in this case, we're staying inside the box. If you like this video, go ahead and comment below. This is your boy, J to the R, and I am out.